Hey guys, it's Jay Snow and Frost Death Knights are back. So the changes to Death Knights in general actually are Frost Presence now gives you 20% rune runic power generation and 20% decrease on movement debuffs. And then once you get the improved version, as Frost Spec, you get 15, uh, what do you call it, runic power off your Frost Strike, which is extremely good. But I'm just going to go into the general abilities of Frost Death Knights. So in this battleground, there's a lot of changes to Frost Death Knight self-healing, which is absolutely awesome. We get tons of abilities to self-heal and defend ourselves. Because back in Wrath of Lich King, we would get stomped on. I mean, we were pretty squishy when we get stomped on by almost every class if you weren't too careful. But there's some pretty awesome changes that I just love playing my Death Knight. But of course, <laughs> as playing as I was playing this BG, it was like, your wow time expires in 30 minutes. And I was like, fuck! <laughs> so hopefully, I gotta resub to wow after this video. So here's the first thing that I love, Glyph of Icy Touch. Now watch closely, Icy Touch dispels one helpful magic effect on the target. So this mage gets his Ice Barrier dispelled. So here we go, Ice Flows dispelled, Ice Barrier dispelled. Just keep spamming that Icy Touch, it's so amazing. Like just killing, making Frost Mages, get, putting Frost Mages in their place is like my favorite thing to do. And Glyph of Icy Touch is probably the best thing to come out right now. Now I have a feeling it might get nerfed. It just seems pretty OP'd. But now it seems like instead of Necrotic Strike on healers, I'm actually using Icy Touch more often to dispel like Druid buffs and all that crazy stuff. So it's awesome. Now here's an example of Purgatory. This new ability, when you're about to die, it shrouds you into into Purgatory. It's like, whoa, Purgatory. And what it basically does is you last for three seconds and prevents, you get a shield of whatever damage killed you. So let's say I got hit for 20k and I were to die. Then I get a 20k healing shield for 3 seconds. If that 20k goes down in the 3 seconds, then I die. If it doesn't, then I come back to life with 1 HP. So there's actually some great instances. One other instance in this video that I'll show you guys where that came into play. Purgatory just saves your ass. It's just it's so awesome. As far as other, like the, I guess the non-changes, I'm not even sure what to call them. I guess for all step lights in general, we still have our burst. Rune generation is a little bit different because they split up the towns for rune generation. So there's like I think there's two different towns or something like that that increase your rune generation instead of going into unholy presence. You can get a talent to increase your rune generation. But I do go into unholy presence near the end of the video to test that unholy presence. I'm still trying to decide which is better, frost presence or unholy presence. It's so tough to tell. So right here, uh, I'm actually gonna use a ability called asphyxiate. Yes, asphyxiate, which strangles your target. For five seconds. Now this actually, there goes the Death Knight being asphyxiated. So that actually replaces your Strangulate if you take that town. I think it's in the level 30 tree, and it stuns for five seconds. And if it doesn't, if the target's immune to stuns, then it silences the target. So I'm actually thinking of switching that out for what's the ability called? Let me look it up really quickly. Let's go to Google, and I'm actually thinking of changing that for Death's. Oh, it's, it's a level. Oh, Death's Advance, where you passively move 10% faster and movement parent effects may not reduce you below 70% of normal movement speed. Because even though Fixiate is nice, I, I noticed I don't use it that much and I kind of rather have Strangulate since I usually use that on casters anyway. So having the movement speed buff seems like a better idea for me, but I, that's the beauty of the wild talents. You can just change to whatever you want on the fly. Well, not really on the fly, but you have so many options, it's ridiculous. So what's going on in the battleground right now? So we actually this the battleground like the horde was just getting stomped all over the place. I was just spamming icy touch. I mean the icy touch is just so amazing, especially with the healers being super OP'd now. Icy touch is your friend because that's the only way you can really kill like the druids because the druids seem to heal themselves up in two seconds and it can get pretty ridiculous overall. So I'm just loving my death knight. I got a resub to wow. So I can play more of it. So here goes actually Warlock. I think I spam Icy Touch on this guy. He starts losing all his uh, buffs. So we're going to spam Icy. There you go. This spell Backlash. And with the combo of Icy Touch and your, what is it called? Mind Freeze. There you go. Mind Freeze. You can pretty much stun lock healers. You can pretty much lock down healers. And anybody who uses Heal Over Times or DOTs. So it's extremely awesome. Now here's Purgatory again. This is going to be a scene of Purgatory. Now, this also shows a new ability, I couldn't get a picture of it up on the screen, but Conversion, so I'm spamming F4 right now to use Conversion. So I'm, what that does is takes your runic power, 
and convert your runic power and for every runic power you converted I think you get 3% health back so I get around 3k to 4k health per tick and that keeps going until I run out of runic power and the best part is that thing that conversion has no cooldown as long as you have runic power to spend you can pop conversion and get your heals back so it's absolutely awesome there goes the message your playtime expires in 25 minutes No. But conversion is an awesome ability in the talent tree, and I would definitely recommend any Death Knight PvPing to take it because you can get some good heals, and that can save you a ton of times. Now it doesn't actually count for any rune pa runic power gaining abilities, so if you pop, I'm not sure, I don't remember exactly what the abilities are because I haven't played in a long time. But any abilities that automatically give you runic power, that runic power does not count. Only attacks that use runes that gain runic power will actually use for the heals. So if you pop that ability that gives you 40 runic power automatically, that 40 runic power will not count towards conversion. Which is kind of strange, but that's, I guess, to prevent it from being super OP'd. So here goes a tree druid, so here goes a tree druid spamming all his abilities. And I'm going to start spamming Icy Touch on him. Put him into a nice lockdown while the mages just unload on the druid. And this guy's just trying so hard to do something, and it's just so amazing, the Icy Touch. I, can, I can't stop talking about Icy Touch. So, as far as Death Knight's Overall, I still have to look into the glyphs because I'm not sure. I the, the glyphs seem very strange for frost spec because it doesn't seem to be that many glyphs actually geared towards frost spec. So you do have a lot of things you can go ra play around with. Uh, frost presence and unholy presence. That's going to be extremely hard to figure out because I love having the fast, <coughs> excuse me, the fast movement speed or the holy presence and the rune generation. But I love the new changes to the rune power with frost presence as well as the healing with conversion, so Frost Presence and conversion are like, you know, a match made in heaven with the runic power healing. So it's gonna be some tough decisions, but I'll be doing some testing with my Death Knight PvP as long as I can. And then also there's Unholy Spec, which I haven't tried yet, so I can't wait to try Unholy Spec with the new Talon Trees. It should be pretty interesting, but as an un un since I never really un played Unholy that much, it's gonna be hard for me to actually discuss it, because I don't know much about Unholy. I've always played Frost and I still enjoy Frost and of course Frost right now is just so much more amazing. So if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs it up as that helps me out a lot. Just subscribe for more WoW, DayZ, Guild Wars 2 content. I like to keep my channel with a variety of games for you guys. And you can also follow my Twitter account at XXJSnowXX or any of the links in the description below. Also, I don't know why I didn't put the footage in here, but we did win this battleground 3-0. So the horde got their ass kicked. Ouch. Thanks for watching.